just a nice, easy day in Gibraltar. Hanging out with 38 knot winds and a meter and a half swells while we're at anchor. All right, so I just went and talked to the marina and they're gonna help us get in here before the winds start. We're gonna dock, we're gonna side dock next to the office and uh, wait for the Marianeros to uh, help us figure out a plan on exactly where we're going. Uh, I went and checked it out uh, inside the marina and it's it's dead calm in there. The the area in which, the, one of the two areas in which we'll be going is dead calm. One area has less boats in it, and that's actually the area that I want. That way, if we get in trouble, uh, even with the Marianeros pushing us, um, we just hit the dock, which I'm fine with. You know, I don't want that, but. I don't want to hurt anybody else's boat and just ruin their day. I mean, this is, this is fucking ridiculous. Going in here, this will help morale quite a bit. This will help morale for both Katie and I to get a good night's rest. Even if we do crash into the dock, uh, get some showers in. Uh, go walk on land and just kind of de-stress over a cup of coffee and a we wish it done. Cup of coffee or vodka? Yeah, you know, one then the other. So we both want French cruller donuts, but there's there's none of those here. The little things you miss. Actually not too bad. All right, so we're side docked in the marina waiting for the Marianeros to come and help us out, get into our berth. Uh, looks looks like it's gonna be pretty safe and, and relatively easy for us. So that's a big relief. Uh, the fun thing is we ran into a, a gentleman here named Daniel that is uh, looking for a ride to the Canaries or to uh, across the Atlantic, which we've run into a couple people now that are looking for uh, that are looking to join a crew to sail across the Atlantic, which I think is super rad. That is super awesome. Um, so he's going to help us out here as we get docked, and uh, we're going to talk with him and. You know, maybe take a stranger with us across the pond. That'd be pretty sweet, man. This guy's gonna have an incredible story. Um, things are feeling better as well. Just getting in here, knowing that we can get our engines worked on and get the things done that we need to. It's gonna make us feel 10 times better, a lot more confident in our, uh, a lot more confident and naughty. Get us back on track. 
mentally, physically. We're looking forward to that. We were, well, we were in an anchorage right around the corner from uh, there. Okay. We couldn't get to a Miramar. Well, we made it in <laughs> safely with the help of uh, Marion Arrows. They did a great job. Super, super intuitive. Um, excuse my French, but fuck, we're here. Thank God. <laughs> right. Cheers. 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 And uh, this is our new friend, Daniel, helped us out. And uh, we'll talk about him joining the crew for our uh, transatlantic. We'll figure it out. The water maker issue. And this, uh, this safety switch. It's a 250 amp switch. Melted. Melted? Yeah, look at this. What the fuck are you talking about? Melted? I know that winter is coming, but it's far too early to have Frosty melting away, okay? The water maker is only 80 amps, and this thing is rated for 250, so. Yeah. What else is. Is this a failure? What else is connected to that? Just the water maker. The fuse that we have. Um, before this that you know is the electrical that didn't blow that fuse is fine luckily I have another full switch inside I'm and not he's sure not just talking about this switch <laughs> <laughs> not it's sure if it. Fix like you it. said it might, it might be the problem but it's definitely a problem things are not supposed to be melted unless it's cheese I'm gonna paint my toes. You should paint your toes. Right, we got the new switch in. This one is a 350 amp as opposed to the 250 amp. And uh, we'll get everything, we have everything all hooked back up and we'll give it a test. We'll get in touch with our, our good buddy Joel, who is an electrician, and and uh, maybe he can confirm with me that this was a product failure, or help me figure out why it would do this. I'd like to know why that's an important step in all of this. If, if it's just a malfunction, it's a malfunction, but we'll... We'll get to the bottom of it because none of the rest of the system says there's heat in it except for this switch. Day two of the Bimini. Katie's been uh, working away for quite a few hours after the uh, mechanic came by. I am now putting the hem on the top after the batten and securing the zippers for the top closure, like the top of the tackle the stuff goes in, basically. Top of the tackle the stuff goes in. <laughs> We had uh, the mechanic out this morning and they checked 
the port side engine and determined that it was the uh, black box, which is a common um, occurrence for those to go bad. Starboard side motor issue seemingly went away for the last couple days. Uh, but of course, as soon as he leaves <laughs> and I fire the, that motor, the starboard motor up, and kind of run it through its little course, it decided to peek its head back out. It's becoming an expensive day. <laughs> the only real big concern for us right now is the amount of orca attacks that are happening right off the coast on the way out of the Gibraltar Strait. So it's been one a day, I think. Yeah, and it's not that we're reading it in the news. It's that this is happening to friends of friends, people that we know. We don't even know how many are happening that haven't been reported or that we haven't heard through the community. That's we're artists, and we're in a situation that looks a little grim. Naturally, we're going to do a little artwork with it. I started working on a t-shirt <laughs> for Orca Alley. So if that actually comes through, this will be put in the video. But if not, then uh, just delete this, Brian. It's okay editing, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> but it helps me keep my brain busy. Yeah, that's really it. It's keeping our brains busy right now and not thinking about what's happening. Yeah, I already, I already broke down and cried about it, so I already did that. We look cute. We're freshly showered. We get to go to land and eat some pizza. We hope the pizza place is open. Oh, it says open. It says open. Mega Mediana. We just put in a disgusting sized order. We don't get to eat out very much, so this is quite the treat. And since everything is going awry this week, <laughs> Two motors need to work on, or need to be worked on, you know, orcas in the, the Gibraltar Strait right now. We'll, um, we'll go ahead and take it. A little treat for us. Yeah, we need it. is down in the hole and they replaced the MDI box with one of their testers that they have. Um, it actually seemed that the problem got better but it didn't cure it so he's still having a look to see what it could possibly be. There's two mechanics now looking at the port side engine. trying to slip away it's hard and that's when I can go a lot closer because those threads are melted so. he's now changing from the Genoa line to the main halyard line because the Genoa comes up about 10 feet short or so. So as soon as he does that, uh, my workout continues. It's done!
Day three with the mechanics here, working on the port side engine. Uh, I've been informed that they've gone through everything and can't find uh, where the problem is. So they just went back to the shop and have brought wiring harnesses and new gauges, uh, etc. to find what the issue is and make sure that it's taken care of. So we appreciate that. Um.